Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing and DIY content. And today's video is all about creating faux crackle glass. This is gorgeous, it's really easy to do. If you got some crayons, dig them out of your stash. Let's get started. I'm going to do this crackle glass technique on these glass jars that I've pulled out of my recycling bin. You're going to need some crayons and you're going to need the white crayon for the first project. You want to make sure your glass is nice and clean. Wipe it down with an alcohol pad and then just start drawing all over your glass jar. Lines in different ways and up and down and sideways all over the whole jar and you can do the bottom too. Make sure you're putting enough pressure on the crayon that you're leaving an imprint on that glass. And to get a proper crackled glass look, you want to make sure you're using the white crayon for this project. I've got it completely covered. Now we're going to get our polyacrylic sealer, water-based. I have a little glass dish and I'm just going to pour a little bit, you don't need very much, into the glass dish. And then we're going to use some really fine silver sparkle. You don't want a sparkle that's going to be a bigger chunk. You want a really fine, almost dust silver sparkle. And we're going to incorporate that into the polyacrylic sealer. I'm just going to use my paintbrush and mix it up really well. No set amount, just until you think that it will look good and sparkle nice on your glass. And then you're just going to take that polyacrylic sealer with the sparkle and just cover that whole glass jar, the top and the bottom. I let the first coat of the polyacrylic sealer completely dry and now I'm going back in with that crayon again and remarking on top of that polyacrylic all over in that crisscross pattern up and down and across no real set way just go over the whole thing with the crayon and then we're going to go on top with another layer of that same polyacrylic sealer with the sparkle in it. It's really important that you let it dry really well in between coats or you're gonna have things kind of move around underneath. I set mine out in the sun and it dried really quickly. After I've got that second coat on and before it dries, I like to take my paintbrush and just dab it. It gives it a little bit of a stippled effect and it helps pop that crackled glass look when it's all dry. Okay, so we're getting there. It's now completely dried again. We're gonna go back one more time again with that crayon. Crisscross everywhere, marking it up and down. I'm trying to create a really fine crackled glass look. I'd like to do two or three layers of this crackle technique. I just think it makes it look more authentic and more like crackle glass. And we're going to apply our last coat of that polyacrylic sealer with the sparkle in it. Same thing, we're going to tap it on and just kind of tap it up and down, give it that stippled effect, put it outside in the sun and let it dry completely. It's now completely dried. I am going to take this outside and I'm going to give it its final coat and I'm going to use my engine enamel. This is going to put a really heavy duty coat on the outside of it so it can be dusted. It's not going to be waterproof, but it's going to be water resistant so you can wipe it down with a damp rag if you need to when you want to clean it. Putting a liberal coat on, we're going to set it aside and let it dry completely. I'm going to do a second one, but we're going to use pink this time, the pink crayon, and same method. We're gonna crisscross over that whole entire glass jar. You can see how you can get really creative with this technique and you can do it for all the different seasons. I was thinking how cool this would be to do one for Halloween and do it in black with a black crayon and black sparkle. I think that would look fantastic. So I have this completely covered all over with the crayon same thing we're going to pour in a little bit of that polyacrylic sealer and i have some pink sparkle just going to add it into it stir it up with my paintbrush to incorporate it really well 
And I wanted to do a little bit of a twist with this one. I'm gonna get my gel food coloring. I bought this pack of all these different colors. I'm just gonna add a little tiny dab of it into that polyacrylic sealer. It's just gonna tint everything to have a little bit more of a pink color. And I think it'll look really beautiful when we paint it on top of that jar. If you don't have any food coloring, you can always add just a little dab of acrylic paint also. First coat, we're gonna paint over the entire glass jar, over all of that crayon, and do the sides and the bottom. And make sure you're saving all of your glass jars out of the recycling bin, because this is just one of many DIYs that you can do with glass jars. Let it dry completely. We're going back in with the crayon again, marking every which way, up and down and sideways. And then we're going to do another coat of the polyacrylic sealer again. And here are our finished glass crackled jars. I think it actually looks really authentic, especially the white one. The pink doesn't show maybe quite as much, but it still would be fun to do in all kinds of festive colors. But the white is gorgeous. And how easy of a DIY is this with all you need is a little bit of glitter, polyacrylic sealer, and a crayon. I just hot glued some twine on the top of this one and I had a piece of lace that I put on the white crackled glass and this is what they look like at night. Aren't they beautiful? And they just sparkle so nice with a little candle in them. So give this technique a try and let me know down in the comments how you make out with it. And if you like this kind of DIY content, I'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell for notification so you don't miss any great DIY content. I create upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content every week, and I'd love new crafting friends. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.